Welcome back to Skill Guide of the series where our account progress is locked to the Skill Guide. In order to keep leveling a skill, we must complete the most recent skilling unlock. We can't complete the quest if the reward XP would cause us to skip an unlock. And today, first, we need a battle staff. Then we're going to hunt for the rune axe. And there's level 20 strength with some law runes as our drop. Lovely. 20 strength unlocks the ability to wield this mithril warhammer. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> Oh, I was that desperate to get the battle staff. I even played a little bit on mobile and recorded my screen on mobile, but alas, I did not get it. But we are up to 26 strength. We are chopping away at these things, and look at all these herbs. This has been actually really good, though. Yes, 29 strength, one level away from 30. Please just give me the battle staff. Oh, I'm just looking at the drop table for these things, and I've actually hit the 1 in 128 table so many times. Like... Balls of wool, I've got heaps of them. Nature runes, I've got a few of them. Like, they're all 1 in 128. And there is 30 strength. Unfortunately, we didn't get the drop before we hit 30 strength. We've gone from, like, 16 to 30 strength on these things. Oh, my God. And I've got 39 combat now. This is nuts. That's actually climbed up a crazy amount as well. Because one of the things that I was, I was kind of looking through the other diaries and whatever... And I was like, oh no, for the Western Provinces one, I need to do like a novice game of pest control. I'm not going to be level 40 for ages, but we're literally level 39. Still no drop. Oh man, okay. Um, we're going to have to go buy an Adamant Warhammer in order to get our level 30 strength unlock. Um, we've also unlocked the Dragon Halberd, but yeah, I don't know if that's going to occur. Um, and we've also unlocked... Oh, shit. For some reason, I thought that was 35 and this one was not. Oh, we're actually stuck at level 30 then for now because level 30 strength requires Leaping Salmon, which needs 30 agility and 58 fishing. Oh, shit. Okay, well, yeah, no more strength for us. Fuck, I, wanna, I need this battle stuff. I need this battle stuff. I shouldn't have even trained my magic because I need battle stuff for magic too. I, sh I just figured we'd get it super quick. And I was going to get spooned. Hope everyone enjoyed episode 15 of Skill Guided. I took a bit of uh, freedom when it came to the title of the episode. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that. During that episode, I noticed that I did a beginner clue step and had a clip about that. And I never bloody opened it. So let's just see what we get from it to, uh, you know, one of the first things in this episode. And that's that. that that's basically... We didn't really miss out on anything there, did we? So, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we are in Falador because we are doing the recruitment drive quest. And we're getting this quest done so we unlock our level 20 defense unlock, our last one. Because Yakhide won't be available to us at level 20. But we do have Shazian armor, we do have Mithril, and we will have Initiate. Uh, we don't have a shield there unlock either. So, yeah. 20 defense will be all good and we'll be good to progress past 20 defense which gives us a bit more melee XP to work with, which is very handy for us. Because, oh my god, do I just want to get this battle staff and move on with our lives. So we'll probably kill some more Forgotten Souls and see if we can get the drop from them. Excellent work sorting out those Black Knights. I mean, I'll happily write you a letter of recommendation. Oh, indeed, Start Recruitment Drive. Please, sign me up. He'll take us to the secret training grounds and we'll have to pass through a series of five separate intelligence tests. Yeah, no worries. All right, we're with Miss Hinterpret. Miss Interpret. I get it. That's great. Um, okay, a simple riddle. I estimate there will be one million inhabitants in the world of Gilinor, creatures and people both. What would be the number you would get if you multiply the number of fingers on everything's left hand to the nearest million? Jesus. <laughs> yeah, right. How about zero? Excellent. All right. All you needed was leave from the opposite door to where you came in by. It's more complicated than it may at first appear. Limited supplies of the items in the room, so think carefully before you use them. All right. I'm just going to test the game music for a little bit, and we'll see how loud it is. So apologies if it's too loud or too quiet, but I'll find the right value eventually. Uh, so open door. Nice! Alright, portal. Who's this? Lady Table. Hello. Uh-oh. I think I did that too late. <laughs> Shit. 
Touch the statue you think has been added. Oh, shit. All right. Oh, please be right. Excellent work. Nice. We are cracked. What am I supposed to be doing here? Well, your task is take this fox... Ah, the old fox chicken and grain across the bridge to the other side. I like how we're just carrying this fox. <laughs> and remove chicken. That should be the end of it. Yes, we have solved it. Open the door. Through we go. Nice. All right, who's this? Sir Quam. Your task is for this room is to defeat Sir Lee. Sir Lee. He has been blessed by Saradamine to be undefeatable by any blade. All right, but we have weapons. Blade, blade. Hello, steel warhammer. All right, well, I guess we'll take the warhammer and bonk him up. Hey, champ. Well, maybe I should wield it. Can I pray in here? Oh, I can just pray. <laughs> it's the easiest thing ever. What the fuck? And you have been destroyed. And we've passed all the tests. Is that it? Is that all we had to do? Jolly well done. Your performance will need to be evaluated by survey personally. I don't think it's going too far ahead of myself. Oh, well, yeah. Amazing. We've done it. <laughs> a quest point, a thousand prayer, a thousand herbal, a thousand agility, 3k cash. Love that. We can now set our respawn to Falador, which hopefully we won't have to do for a little while. And we get our first piece of initiate. Hey, that's awesome. And we got 24 Herb Lore. Can now make stat restore mix. Herb Lore got a little bit stuffed up, but we're basically all good now. All we need to do is uh, essentially just make all these mixes. We also have a couple of potions to make compost, stat restore, Guthix balance. Guthix balance requires a little bit of questing, um, but you know, we don't have much XP level 25, so we'll get 25. We, through doing those unlocks, we will clean our Raynar weed because we have some in the bank. Our Initiate, which is 20 defense. We also have Mithril in here somewhere because I probably made it myself. There we go. And we also have some Shazian 2, all of which requires 20 defense. So now we're free to go get 20 defense um, whenever we please. So that is great. All right, now we've got our gear back on too. Now we've got our gear back on too, I feel a bit better. We've got a load of stuff in the inventory, we're catching up on all of our Herb Lore unlocks now, so... Yeah, a little bit of a... I should have done this right before I did the quest, that was a little silly, but it's okay. It's alright, we're all good. Uh, and then we'll catch up on the Guthix Balance uh, potion as well. Um, here we go, use Rod on Fishing Spot. We've got Fishing XP to work with. We just need to catch a couple of these things. We've got Cooking XP to work with. We've got some strength XP left, some agility XP left. We are all good. And look at it. We actually look like a real player now. Like, look at this guy next to us. He's also in his angler outfit with his arty cloak. We are a real gamer with our achievements. This is great. Guarantee they haven't followed the skill guide all the way here, though. We are probably the only one. All right. There's five row. That should be enough. So if we use this row straight on our anti-poison, we should make... Beautiful, yes, anti-poison mix, okay. So we're going down the list here. Anti-poison mix done, we made attack mix to do this training. We use row with our relisms balm, there we go. And we can leave the skill guide open while we do it, that's great. All right, next one, strength mix. Row with strength potion, perfect. And restore potion is at level 24, which we can make first. Here we go, in the potions bit. Compost potion, stat restore potion. Harrowlander and red spider's eggs. So, Harrowlander on a vial of water. Yep, and then we'll go red spider's eggs on one of them. Excellent, there is our restore potion. So then we use our row on our restore potion. Nothing interesting happens. Oh, does it need to be, does it need to be two dose? That's so stupid. All right, now we'll use row on restore potion. There we go, restore mix, nice. And now we can make a compost potion of Harrowlander and Volcanic Ash, which was locked behind Fossil Island, but not anymore. There is our compost potion, excellent. And I brought the Raynar, but that didn't actually get us to level 25, so really didn't really skip any unlocks, so that's fantastic. Perfect. All right, so now we just have to get Guthix Balance before we hit level 25. Guthix Balance is locked behind partial completion of the In Aid of the Myrek quests. 
uh, which we need to do in search of my wreck first. And this one we can go and do, combat level 45. No, I don't think we need to do that. Okay, I am going to be laughed out of the room. Look at our gear. <laughs> There's no way people are going to want to recruit me into a team. There's just no way. So I'm wearing my tankiest gear possible. We have literally 32 agility. Um, so our run energy is going to run out real quick in the room when we're trying to run around and collect things. But I only need 200 points to do a low gamble. I think if we talk to this guy over here. Oh, God, we got to see the captain first. Hello. Can I skip the tutorial? Here we go. We just can. We need to just do low items. There we go. We need to be beyond wave two, and we only need 200 points in any roll. So that's not even a full thing, but I, I will do my best to help people out. All right, so we've got a team. I don't know why we haven't gone in yet, but I need to get level three. Leader left the room. No. All right, so as the healer, what do I have to do here? I have to dip the eggs in poison springs and give to the attacker. All right. This has been insane. This is so good. Oh, my God. I can't believe this. <laughs> This has been wild. I've been wanting to commentate over the top, but genuinely I've been too fucking nervous. Oh, for fuck's sake, what is this guy doing? How could I not be the one that died? All right, so they've basically just told me when Queen Spawn sit at the pool and Cannon, which is one of the other players, will fix the rest. So I'm literally just going to sit here and make sure I don't die while they do the game. <laughs> That's so bad. I'm such a leech. Just keep healing. They're going. Go team. Go. Go team. Come on. Yes. Come on. Please kill that queen. Oh my god. I want. To, oh my god. Oh my god. I'm on 10 HP. Click. 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 Heal. Hopefully they're just killing the queen. I wanted to see it for the content, but we're not seeing it. Yes, we did it. <laughs> Oh, you need to be beyond wave two for the low gamble. Oh, what? So I have to play it again? Oh, you're kidding. Wait, why the fuck is that a thing? What's going on there? Why do you have to be above wave two? Oh my god. Literally 95k and I can buy myself a granite body. That's so sick. <laughs> That's awesome. That'll be a level 50 defense unlock. That's our level... Yeah, that's our level 50 defense sorted with uh, our granite body that we can purchase now since we have a queen kill. Um, but now we... So we need to be beyond wave two for the low gamble. So, no, I guess that means we're going back in. That's... Damn it! Here we go. We've got the points. We're on wave three. I've left my team hanging. See? Just need a low gamble. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to low gamble right now. Yes, low items. All right. Come on, please give me the just give me the rune axe or the lava battle staff. Come on, please. Accept. Uh, collector honor point. No, healer. Gamble, you say. Let me take something from my big bag of prizes. I've never done this before. Let's see. Come on, please show me a rune axe or a lava battle staff. Got something? You've won. Coins! No! This took so long! Alright, we're back on the Isle of Souls, trying to kill the Forgotten Souls and get a battle staff this way. They're 1 in 128, and we have killed 63 of them, so we're almost at halfway drop rate. We just got coins from one, and I wasn't recording because I'm a goose. Doing Barbarian Assault, it, I tried to go back to the team after that low gamble, and they'd left, even though they said they'd wait. And then... Um, I got in another team, we made it like two waves and someone left, and I have experienced so much of that when I was doing my Elite Diaries, which was dog shit. So, I'm actually going to organise, if I don't get the Battle Staff from this, and then we go do magic, if I don't get the Battle Staff quickly and we get too close to like 30 defence, because, you know, I, want, I have all the unlocks now for level 20 defence, and so we're free to just train defence on these things, and try and get the battle staff but yeah eventually i might have to go back to barbarian assault and i'm going to put it out of the community it's going to be fantastic we can all play together and you can carry me through while i heal everyone that's going to be great all right and there's 20 defense that is bloody excellent now we can keep training it and go put on some mithril and some initiate and some shazian armor so i should have brought it with me because now i have to trek all the way back to the bank 
Jesus. Yes! Come on, baby! Fuck yeah! Air battle staff! Nice! Get around me! Yes! Oh, that's awesome! Oh, thank god! That's 76 of them down, too. So, technically under drop rate, but... In an air battle staff, too, that's actually cracked. Wait, so that's attack unlocked now. Fuck yes! We can train attack! Giddy up! And we can train magic! Huge for the account, huge for the program. Alright, here we are. Our level 34 magic unlock. Now that we have our beautiful battle staff, this is the gear we're taking to Lava Dragons, and we won't lose our battle staff or our salad robes if we die. The hardcore status, this may be one of the last times you see it. Uh, but we are going to change our spell book and cast the Respawn Teleport. Beautiful, that's our level 34 magic unlock. And now I have to swap back to my other spell book. So I have to trek all the way back there. Though it is so good just using the mine carts. That is bloody excellent. Oh, that's you. Oh, Jesus, that scared the fuck out of me. All right. Yeah, you're level 125, so you can't attack me. Now, the con the so the common spots... Yeah, I figured if I go to a less common spot, then the chance for someone like logging in underneath me is lower, right? I didn't have to wield the battle staff, actually, I just realised. I just had to, like, wield it to, like, say that I got it. So I've just brought it out. I'm not risking it for dying, but I, I could have just brought out a fucking any other staff. Come on, what are we going to get from the first Lava Dragon KC? Come on. This could be big. This could be monumental. Please, Runax. Come on, it's almost dead. Come on. Pretty please. Uh, no. That's a hard task in the wilderness spot. Oh, this is way too exciting just for the Lava Dragon kill. Coins. Okay, I've got... This thing's almost dead, but I've only got 12 Chaos Runes left. So I need... No zeros. Come on, I need to hit. Yes. Yes, the, the the flicking Mystic Might has actually helped Deluxe. Yes, it's dead. All right, seven runes left. Give me the rune axe, please. More coins? Fuck off. William, what the fuck are you... Oh, wait, I think I need to equip a team cape in the wilderness. How much are these? 50, 50 coins? Yeah, I'll put that on. Yeah, that's an easy task. <laughs> Just... <laughs> yes, that's good. There's an easy task in the wilderness area done. Kill number four. Fire runes. That'll be so good teleporting. Oh my god. 37 magic. Yeah, teleport to Falador. That My quickest way to get to Falador at the moment is genuinely like either Lumbridge and run from there or Chronicle and run from there. Or the... Monastery teleport and then get the boat to Remington and run from there. Like it's fucking terrible. Yeah, all right, kill number five. Come on, Runax, please. And soul dragon head and death runes. Fuck's sake. All right, kill number six. Please, Runax, please. No, lava runes. Fuck's sake. That these drops have been dog shit. 38 magic unlocks thralls, but yeah, we can't do kingdom divided because there's a wood cutting requirement. And we need the rune axe for that. And oh, I just got runite bolts. All right, come on. This is kill. We've been here for, I feel like, an hour, and this is kill number eight. <laughs> okay, come on. Oh, I saw rune. Rune javelin. Kill number nine. Die. Oh, shit. What level? Okay. Come on, Runax, please. Law runes again. Okay, I'm out of here. Uh, well, I'm going to run by while you get PK'd. If he's level 117, then I should be safe. Yep. Well, uh, sorry I can't help you there, buddy. <laughs> but you are cooked. <laughs> no. 
Oh, that's a lot of loot. Not... Oh, that's a lot of loot. Sorry, mate. Literally as I was leaving as well. Alright, i got to say, that was absolutely hilariously good fun. Still got the hardcore status, not that it really matters, but... Nine Lava Dragon kills. We did get some cool new items on the account. Um, I guess these will come in handy later. This will definitely save me getting huge smithing level at some point. Um, and yeah, I guess we can bury those for some more XP. Add to our cool bone collection here. And Dragon Hide for later crafting. And Lava Scales, I guess, for future herb lore. But yeah, we ultimately just want that Rune Axe. Um, we are going to run into a bit of a some trouble soon with magic once we hit level 40 because there's a lot of armor available at level 40 which we can't exactly get yet um so i'll slow the train down and stop doing lava dragons for a bit then and we'll we'll have a little think about how to progress magic from there but you can't say we aren't trying with the runax it might be time once we hit 40 magic to go to barbarian assault and put it out to you the viewers and it'll probably happen in the time before the episode even comes out but yeah i'm hoping that people want to do barbarian assault with me we'll see 48 xp and now we have hey, a medium task in the falador area and a reliable way of getting to falador that's so bloody good but anyway uh let's change our spell book there we go and let's target one of these little bats for a nice ghostly grasp. There we go. Oh, I love those spells. That's 39 magic. Beautiful. Uh, now we're just... I guess we'll just bonk it quickly. Yep, there we go. Bat dead. Uh, now we change our spellbook back. And we can also cast Crumble Undead. And there's some skeletons right here, so let's crumble him. Oh, 15. Massive. Ah, oh, just when you thought we were leaving the wildy, you were wrong. We're going to kill Zamorak Wizard at the Chaos Temple, baby, to do a hard clue step, because this is our second... Yes, we've completed the step on the hard clue already, and you know what you can get from hard clues? Rune axes! <laughs> get away from me. <laughs> well, this isn't suspicious at all. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Come on, the final chop. Go for it. Yes, I did it. I killed a Zamorak wizard and we got some air runes for it. Okay, next clue. Let's get out of here. I'm running. Run. What's the next clue? No, Tyrus Camp. Fuck off. Ah, oh, shit. Well, that... I'm sure is going to... That that at least requires completion of the Underground Pass. Which I can't... Oh, no, wait. I can do that now. Because I have attack unlocked. Because of the Battle Staff. Oh, I think I can do... I can do Underground Pass. And Tyrus Camp, you don't have to finish Regicide. And I think you can get to it without the level 56 agility requirement that's part of Regicide, I think. Oh, we might we might be in the clear to do this. Yeah, we we might be in the clear to do this. And we got away from the wildy unscathed. Thank you, mate. After some absolutely massive adventures last night, that was awesome. Um, I am now in Canifus Pub, the best named pub in the game. Hair of the dog. Let's chuck the music on and get some game sounds for this beautiful place. Um, yes, we are here. No. We don't have the rune axe yet, unfortunately. We currently have 39 magic. Once we hit 40 magic, though, we are going to be locked out of magic again. With armor, there is a lot that we need. Mystic, we can probably get from Slayer relatively easily. Enchanted robes and robes of darkness come from clues, so that's on our list of, like, yeah, it's a no-go. I skipped over Elder Chaos Druid robes. Yeah, we're going to have to try and get those in the wildy. Um, split bark armor with 40 defense. Skeletal armor, 40 defense, so there's a lot there. Weapons, um, there's Mystic Staves at 40 attack as well. Um, but we can actually get these if we can complete the Scorpion Catcher quest, which we'll be able to once strength is unlocked. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff at 40 magic, and it will make it a bit difficult. And I figured we're going to need a little bit of magic here and there to do things like quest bosses, just to, you know, maybe teleport or you know whatever it's good to have a little bit of free xp and not get in these situations where even though attack is unlocked now look before it was unlocked we had 42 xp to the next level and um i kind of want that little wiggle room it helps us out in the future um 
one of the things that we need to do is progress our herb lore. Um, and we need to make this Guthic's Balance Potion that was at level 22. And so to do that, we need to do... Well, we need to partially do, partially complete, the In Aid of the Myrek quest, uh, which we have the requirements for, except for In Search of the Myrek. So we have that here, we have the requirements, and that's what all the stuff in my inventory is for. Bought a couple of Moonlight Meads as well, this is actually food. I love this barkeep, you can talk to him as well. And you know, talk to him about the, the excellently named Hair of the Dog Tavern. Um, but if you just go trade, he doesn't want to barter, he doesn't want to see a shop in a face. He's just like, here you go mate, I've taken your money, here's some piss. What a legend, <laughs> that's so good. Um, so, this is actually where we start the quest as well, if we talk to Vanstrom Claws in the corner here. Hello, mate. A little bit concerned about it. some friends of mine, they're in dire need of assistance. Jesus, this, this guy's very dramatic. Don't dare to judge me, young fool. What do you know of the heartache I carry? I want to help them. I did help them, but my part is done. To do any more is to risk death. What the... Will you take me to them? You don't have to do anything. Are you... Oh my god. Alright, so we can use his boat. Yeah, we've got a droid pouch. So, yep. Yeah. Alright, six wooden planks to fix the boat. Yep. We've got some nails and a hammer as well. Yep, here are our planks. Alright, here we go. We've got a cave entrance right here. Let's go in this cave. Here we go. Harold Evidence. Who are you and why are you here? I'm a friend. I'm going to deliver weapons. Better talk to Veliath. All right. Where is Veliath at? Here we go. Veliath hurts. Hello there. I'm skill guided. I'm a friend. I brought you some weapons. All right. I'm a fucking moron. I didn't even... Oh, I'm the biggest fucking clown... I brought the weapons and started doing the quest and I didn't even bring my magic gear to kill the hellhound! No! Now I'm gonna have to back out and... Oh, you absolute idiot. Alright, what's your job here, mate? Cheating death this seems to be his role. He's the main fighter for the group. How you going? They got a good feeling about us. Love that. We have a powerful aura. Oh, that's awesome. No, I like that. And tell me a bit about yourself. Not much to tell. I was nine years old and my family was ripped to pieces by a vampire. One moment I was a happy member of a loving family. Next I was an orphan. Wow. People took pity on me and I earned food by helping them out. Quickly found I had a very useful set of skills and there were plenty of people willing to pay for them. Wow. Good little origin story there. I like that. Alright. Here's your weapons. Many thanks. Oh shit, what's going on? Vampire. Vanstrom Claws, oh my god. Well done, adventurer. You led me right to them. Little deers are going to wonder which size you're on. Drakens have been wanting you lot dealt with for a while. Oh god. No! No! Sunny, no! I. Oh, shit! No! No, not Harold as well. I was less attached to you, Harold, but no! And now a skeleton hellhound! Oh, fuck, I didn't know he murdered people! That's grim! Oh, shit. Alright. Uh, so, I think we lure it over here. Right, come over here, and then I stand next to this box. And then it's lured, idiot! You stupid hellhound. And now we just moose it. Oh no, I didn't realise it killed people. I like how Ivan's just like standing there. Like, thanks mate. Cheers. Wow. Alright. Skeleton Hellhound down. Nice. Quest boss defeated. So sorry, this is all my fault. He said he led them here. How? He was the one that asked you to bring the weapons to you. He looked like a human. He clearly took advantage of you. Vampires can shapeshift to look like humans. No. Alright, we search this wall this time and something should actually happen. Beautiful. Okay. And we go up the ladder. 
And there should be a... We'll go into the pub. Man, that was thirsty work. I need some Moonlight Mead. Yummy. It tastes like something just died in your mouth. Oh, shit. No wonder he's given away. And now there's a stranger here instead. Hello, friend. What can I do for you? Thought you were someone else. Who did you think I was? Thought you were that dirty murderer Vanstrom. Whoa, it sounds like you've got a score to settle. I definitely have. You better believe I do. But there we go. We've finished the In Search of the Myrek quest. Two quest points, access to the hollow, 600 XP, attack, defense, strength, hit points, and crafting. Nice. And 31 attack. It feels good to see our attack go up after so long. 24 defense as well. 41 combat. Beautiful. And no unlocks to be seen. Love that. All right. Well done to us. No time to waste, I guess. Let's just get straight back to Veliaf and continue on with the quest. All right, we're here to start the in aid of the Myrek quest now. We're talking to Veliaf. I don't have all the stuff I need to do the quest, but look at us. We're in our perfect gear. We look so good. We've got a silver light to take on vampires we might run into. Went back to the place I first met Vanstrom. He was gone, though. The day will come where we'll take them on. Before starting this quest, your combat is lower than 45. I don't care. Let's stay. Let's start the aid of the Myrek. Now that our base of operations is no longer safe, we're going to need to relocate. Sounds like a wise move. To the south of Morton, there's an old town known as Birda Rot. Excellent. Let's head down to Birda Rot and see if we can find a suitable place for our new hideout. Be sure to take a weapon of silver with you. You'll find it of great use if vampires attack. Perfect. All right, well, we have our silver light. All right, cool. Now we are in Morton, and we aren't going to Barrows. We're going down here to Birda Rot. Okay, let's go. Hey, that's a medium task in the Mauritania area, taking that boat. That's sick. Hey, you just threw a tomato at me. What the? Hey, how dare you? Clearly the townspeople don't want visitors. All right, let me in. Can I talk to him? Get out of it. You ain't coming in here to get our blood or our food. <laughs> I don't want your food or your blood. I know you want something, but we got nothing, nothing. What blood we've got, we're keeping it for ourselves. <laughs> you can tell that stinking Vanstrom to go suck a cow's udder. <laughs> Blimey, did you see that? He put some food in the chest for us. He's probably not after anything. <laughs> Didn't take much to gain their trust. <laughs> All right, so then we can talk to Florin again. What did you put in that chest? Is it something tasty, like a nice cooked snail? Or perhaps a well-matured piece of cheese with some fresh bread? Well, it was a cooked whole tuna, so... Um, yes, and this is exactly what I'm talking about. Look at that, black nails. Literally in the last episode, I was trying to get black nails from the ogre coffin to make our black brutals for our fletching unlock, and we couldn't get them because and they were a bloody nightmare. And now we have black nails for our fletching unlock. That's so sick. All right, that's awesome. All right, that's the last of the rubble done. As you clear away the last of the rubble, you notice a dusty-looking wall plaque that you hadn't spotted before. Hmm, okay. Neat. Okay, Oral, finishing the project at the inn. I'd like to help fix up the town. Perhaps you would consider helping to fix up my general store. Excellent. Please fix the roof, then the walls. Once that's done, come and have a chat with me. Okay. Uh, now, here we use nails, and I don't know what nails it's going to pull from my inventory, so I'm going to drop the black nails on the ground because we may need them oh shit <laughs> okay well we just got 43 crafting from that uh, we're gonna cut diamonds and craft diamond rings and craft yak hide leg armor we can do diamonds and diamond rings but yak hide unfortunately locked behind completing fremnic trials and then starting fremnic isles uh, which is locked because we don't have the rune axe um, so yeah that'll come in the future but we've got plenty of xp to work with Level 43, nice one. Okay, well you could stock the store for us and really start looking like a town. They need three tinder boxes, ten mackerel, ten bronze axes. Okay, well I guess we'll go get those. We'll have to go to the bank. All right, first things first. Before we pack this crate full of stuff, actually we do have we have to go get some of the stuff. But luckily, Midi didn't eat all the mackerels, so we do have ten mackerels to put in there. Excellent. Then we just need three tinder boxes and ten bronze axes, so we'll probably have to travel a little bit to get that. But we have our black nails, so let's make our black brutal fletching unlock. Yes! Tick that one off the list, baby. Black brutal completed from last episode. Good stuff. 
All right, we've brought the crate of goodies back to Oral here to fix up the general store's stock. That is bloody brilliant of us, I must say. Helping us fix the bank as well. Yeah, we could look into that, but we could also trade him. Perfect. Okay, we'll fix that up. Now we talk to Cornelius. Changed into some more suitable attire and stands behind the bank booth. Thanks, Cornelius. And now he's got a hat on. <laughs> All right, get the old furnace up and working again. All right, then. That's just a bit of coal, sure. Inspect. Needs lighting. Light the furnace. Yes, indeed. Awesome, we've fixed the furnace. Oh, now we've got a cutscene. Gatteranks. What is that hammer? Vanstrom Claws. Our nemesis. We finished our latest round of tithing. I'm afraid we haven't been able to collect the desired amount. I saw your wife today, Gatteranks. Jesus! <laughs> so, <laughs> I guess the implication is that he'll take the blood from his wife, but, you know, hope she stays that way. Grim. My lord, there are precious few human settlements left worth collecting tithes from. Morton is just a dead town. Lord Malak was so ill when he drank of them last time. Canifer's delivering more, but expected that still isn't sufficient. Where should I get the remainder from? Couldn't care less for your problems. Just do the job. Do you smell that? Smoke. It's coming from bird or rot. Oh, but it's not abandoned. That is no longer the case. Seems you have a fresh appointment, Gatteranks. Oh, this is good. This storyline is actually underrated here. I'll rate it. Gatteranks has found us. No, because I've led him straight here. We've got our silver light, some curries, and we've got our protection prayer, so we should be able to take on Gatteranks easily enough. I've had enough of you poking your nose in here. If you think you can stop us, go ahead. Oh, I will. Got my attack potion. Got my strength potion. Time to die, Gatteranks. Yes, Gatteranks has been defeated. Oh, shit. Vampire Juvenates now. Yes, Veliaf's coming in to help us. Oh, he's hitting sevens. He's attacking with a sickle. Yeah, right. We're attacking with our silver light. You made a big mistake coming here. You better believe they did. Looks like Gatteranks is still alive. Perhaps he's ready to give us some information before he meets his maker. Ah, cool, okay. You don't look too well, Gatteranks, against my better judgement. I feel sorry for you. I understand that you wanted to feel strong, but you took the wrong side. You just wanted to keep his family safe. You need to take a second and think of them then. Think of why you did this in the first place. All of that will count for nothing if you don't help us. Then will you do me a favour? Please try to save them. You have my word. If we find them, we'll take care of them. He has information which may help us. They fear some things. Silver Dust and Garlic, to name a couple. Also outlawed uh, Cough, Rolanda and Cough, Urzegs. The potion which you make with them is also forbidden. All right, well, I think we can work out what it is. Take it easy, Gatteranks. All right. Through what I find you, perhaps you can find a way to bring light to Mauritania. Gatteranks passes away. <laughs> well, that's grim. <laughs> and Gatteranks dropped his Warhammer. Guess it belongs to us now. Yes, the Gatterhammer. How bloody good. Nice. And now we just got a big bar barrel of blood in the general store. That is a bit grim. All right. Thanks for your help, Veliaf. It was sure good of you to turn up. Have you had any luck with finding us a new hideout? The cellar of the inn here should work perfectly. Excellent. Return to the hollows. Please meet me there so we can arrange getting everyone down here safely. Great. Okay, so Veliaf's gone. And we've reached a part in the quest now where I think we can now make our Guthix Balance Potion. So let's, let's try this. Do I have the stuff to make it? <clears throat> okay, so Okay, so we actually take our restore potion. Oh, which <clears throat>
Okay, so we actually need a restore potion, so I need to make another one of those, because where's my restore potion gone? Oh, I turned it into a restore mix, that's right. Alright, well, red spider's eggs, yep, thankfully we have some of them. Alright, so we do this, and then we make the restore potion. Beautiful, okay. Then we take a bit of garlic, I don't think I have garlic in the bank. I do have garlic in the bank. Yes. Excellent. We add that. Perfect. Guthix balance unfinished. Then we need to add silver dust. Which is by grinding a silver bar in the ectofuntus. Okay. No, I don't have a silver bar. Ah, luckily I have silver ore and I just fixed this furnace over here. So I should be able to make some... Silver bars then. Yes, excellent. Hey, we got a fellow adventurer here grinding some bones. Okay. <laughs> Cow milker. Oh, God. Okay, so silver bar. Did we just load this in? Oh, straight away. It just gives us silver dust. Oh, nice. Oh, and I did the other one too. Oh, perfect. Okay. Nice. All right, so... As we stand here in the glow of the Ecto Funtus, we should be unlocking, well, not unlocking, but catching up on our level 24, well, we should be catching up on our level 22 Herb Law unlock here, Guthix Balance Potion, now that we've got up to that part of the quest. Let's do it. There we go. Yes. That looks cool how it's got like the stopper in the top, like, and it's darker. Like, that looks sick. Um, all right. That's level 25 Herb Lord. We can now clean Rainar Weed. Hey! Is that a, that's a medium task in the Mauritania area too. Was it? Making that potion. Ah! Wow! Okay. Cool. Alright. Well, there you go. How good, is, how good are we? Okay. Quick little yarn here. Uh, one of the other ways we can get the Rune Axe is, as most Iron Men do is by completing the Fairy Tale Part 1 quest and then starting Fairy Tale Part 2. Importantly, these skills here are not required to start the quest, only to finish it. So, we can actually start uh, Fairy Tale Part 2 as long as we've completed Fairy Tale Part 1 and unlock Fairy Rings, which is one of the major things I want to do at the moment. Because Fairy Rings will get us to the Enchanted Valley where we can kill nature spirits to get a Rune Axe really easily. It's not dangerous, you can safe spot them, and the drop rate is fairly low. Anyway, and, they, and in addition, in the Enchanted Valley, you get reduced XP. So if we do go dry, it's not going to be as much XP as like killing other things. Fairy Tale Part 1, to start that quest, we have done the requirements. Um, it's recommended 30 farming, we're almost there. In order to get the reward XP from the quest, we're going to need just a couple more levels in farming. But we also get XP in Magic, which is now fine to get. And we get XP in Attack, which is fine to get. So we've actually solved two major issues by getting this Battle Staff in terms of doing this quest. But getting farming is a bit difficult, because to do our level 29 farming unlock, uh, which is the Goutweed, we have to complete Edgar's Ruse. To complete Edgar's Ruse, that means we need to get 40 Herblore. And looking further into this, I'm... We'll have to see whether this is even possible because we're not really going to be able to farm too much to get them. So we're going to have to get herbs and train herb lore in a different way without gaining farming. But yeah, if we can get to 40 herb lore, we'll have enough XP to be able to get the Edgar's Ruse uh, reward XP. But these are, you know, skills and things that we're going to have to train anyway. So we may as well go down this path of trying to get our farming level up and doing Edgar's Ruse. So that means we're focused still on Herb Lore for now. We're going to keep going with Herb Lore. Yes, there we go. 26 Herb Lore. We can now make Energy Potions. That's so good. We actually have a little bit of wiggle room because after 26 and making an Energy Potion, which let me do that now so I don't forget. So we have Harolander, Vial, and we have some Chocolate Dust. Here we go. Harolander, Chocolate Dust. Energy Potion. Nice. Okay, that's our level 26 Herblore Unlock. 
our next unlock now after level 26, the energy potion, isn't until we make energy mix at level 29. So we actually have some quest XP available to get for Herb Lore, which is actually massive. Because that means finally, I mean, this is, we've spent a lot more time in Mauritania than I expected this episode. We can go finish the Shades of Morton. We can always get more Cosmic Runes. This isn't our whole stack of Cosmic Runes, it's alright. We're also going to enchant our Jade Jewelry, Necklace of Passage, another good teleport for just when we're doing beginner clues or want to get to like Draenor Village. Ring of Returning is actually going to be great. Now that we've done the Recruitment Drive quest, I'm going to change my Respawn Point to Falador. And so now Ring of Returning is essentially a teleport to Falador for us. Um, Amulet of Chemistry, probably just helpful since we're going to do some Herb Lore. And going to be useful right now, the Flam Tear Bracelet. I'm going to wear that because that's going to help us actually with our Shades of Morton repairing. So that's good. So yeah, nice little buff to all of our jewellery in here. There's a little Gil Guided in there <laughs> instead of Skill Guided. I like that name, Gil Guided. Thank you, Amy. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Fishbowl, Gil Guided. We'll give him a little... Can we just play with? Jump! <laughs> jump! Come on, girl, jump! Don't toss the fish around like that! The fish bumps around at the side of the fish roll and it swims some more. What the fuck? You idiots! Why would you do that? What are all these shadowy creatures? Those disgusting entities are the filth that have ruined my life. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Jesus. Need you to kill five shades, bring me their remains. Yes, we'll dispatch those dark and evil creatures. 25 defense. Hey, nice. Okay, I was correct. Um, 25 defense does, does have some unlocks. Frog leather armor is the first of them. But to be able to get that armor, we need to do death to Dorgashin. So we literally just have to do death to Dorgashin and unlock ranged uh, to be able to buy our frog leather armor for level 25 defense. Uh, the other level 25 armor is the Nates is Not Shield, which requires completion of Fremnic Trials, which we will do once we unlock the Rune Axe and Wood Cutting. And the other level 25 unlock are Infinity Robes, which uh, currently we cannot do with our Magic level, unfortunately. Yeah, we'll start training attack anyway, because I'll look into the Infinity Robes, but yeah, we'll just... Um, we'll see about that. I'm not sure if we, like... We'll be able to get... We just need a piece of infinity, so we might be able to train our magic there. Oh, right. Oh, my God. That took a while. That is five lore remains. Let's go back to the general store. Hopefully, he hasn't become inflicted again. Oh, you better believe he has. Or afflicted, I should say. So, we use more Serum 207 on him. There we go. We got the five shades. Perfect. He'll experiment on two of them. I think that Ulsquire might be keen to see some shade remains if you take some over to him. He can possibly give you some extra information about them. Okay, now we're going to use Serum on this guy, Ulsquire. Made your own Serum. It seems to work on me well. All right. That's very nice. I've just, say, I've just slayed five shades. He said you might be interested in seeing some shade remains. Yes. All right. I think that a holy cremation would do the trick, but the funeral pyres need specially prepared pyre logs, normal logs that have been treated with sacred oil to give it a nice holy touch. All right, so we just need to build it ourselves, and we should be able to make some sacred flame. That sounds good. I literally thought this little thing was an NPC then, but that's just a Vedion pet. <laughs> I was like, wait, what is this NPC? Looks like a little goblin thing. But no. All right, we've almost got 20% sanctity here. Oh, this is... I thought this was going to be way more annoying than it actually was. This is great. Um, and just got a little bit of crafting XP. Okay, olive oil on this. Lovely. Sacred oil. Okay. And we also want to make Serum 207 into Serum 208. Okay, we need 20% sanctity, so need to redo this a bit more. Making that flame tier bracelet actually really helped then. That's fantastic. Here we go, and we turn that into Serum 208. I guess let's just... Oh no, now my sanctity is zero. Alright, let's 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 get out of here. Let's We can come to this later. Um, so we use our sacred oil on a log to make a pyre log. Yes. Oh my god, we almost went up a fire making level. We use the pyre log on the funeral pyre. Here we go. This is our level 5 fire making unlock. This has been coming for a long time. Then we use the law remains on there. Then we light it. 
There we go, six fire making, yes, and a bronze key for our troubles. That's so sick. All right. Oh my god, finally. That is insane that it's taken that long. Um, while we're here, I may as well buy some more olive oil because we're going to have a few more unlocks in the future. I've laid a shade to rest. Can you tell me where the shade lair is now? Great job in putting that shade to rest. The entrance to the shade lair is due north of my shop. Good hunting. Can you open a store for me? Sure. Oh, yeah, nice. Okay. Oh, no, he's gone. Okay, now we go Serum 208 on Ulsquire. There we go. I feel this serum's really working. Gives us 184 gold. Thanks, mate. What can I do for you now? I've put the Shade Spirit to rest. Well done, my friend. And that's it. Yes, we've completed Shades of Morton. Three quest points, 2K crafting XP, 2K herb lore XP. 28 herb lore we've boosted ourselves up to now. Excellent. Didn't skip any unlocks. And we got a decent amount of crafting XP. 820 total level. And fire making is finally unlocked. <laughs> we've done pyre logs. That is so good. And we can actually get... Oh, we can actually get maple logs from this. Hang on. If we go serum 208 on... All right. Let's just use it on one of these afflicted and see what happens. Morton Local. Thank you. You use your permanent serum on me. Here's something for your trouble. A limestone brick. Okay, so that's one of the more common rewards. But we can also... Let's try it again. Let's use it on this one. Hello, Morton Local. Oh, no. What do we get as a reward? No. Stupid shade interrupted our reward. Did we actually get anything then? Whoa. Lots, lots of limestone bricks. Nice. Okay. Um, we'll try it on one more. We've got one more dose. Give me a maple log. Here's something for your trouble. Oh, more limestone bricks. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> That's all good. We can actually come back and try that again and get maple logs in the future. That is potentially a way for us to get maple logs so we can continue our fletching grind and then catch up on our magic unlocks. That is interesting. Hmm... So we are going to go back to Shades of Morton and give it a little go with some Serum 207 in a second. But we do have some level 43 crafting unlocks to do. Now unfortunately the Yakhide leg armor, if we go to armor. This will have to wait until we get the rune axe and can continue woodcutting. Because you get woodcutting XP from doing Fremnic Trials. And so Yakhide leg armor can wait. But we can do right now the cutting of a diamond. Beautiful, and that one's not going to break on us. Uh, we'll have to smelt this gold bar quickly. And then make ourselves a diamond ring. Beautiful, that is lovely. Now, we cannot actually do Shades of Morton for that long, because what we can't hit 44 crafting yet, because there is actually one other unlock at level 43, not on the skill guide, but it is on the level up table, and it does give XP. So if we go to Construction... Um, and look at, with the shield easel, you can take a steel kite shield and turn it into a heraldic kite shield decorated with your family crest. So when we got assigned uh, Varrock as our family crest from Serenity, uh, we can get that put onto a steel kite shield in our house, but we need 41 construction to do that. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Um, to do 41 construction, to progress the construction at the moment, we are a little stuck because we have the... Yes, at 36, we are stuck on mounted bass. So we're going to need to get the big bass from fishing before we can continue with construction. So, um, yes, we... In addition as well... Obviously to do construction, we need planks. And yes, we can pick up normal planks from the ground. But some of the unlocks will require teak planks from here on out. And if we look at what we have in the way of teak in the bank, we have two planks and two logs. Not enough to do all of our unlocks. So we kind of, again, are stuck behind getting the rune axe so we can chop, chop more teak for ourselves. But yeah, so long story short, we can't progress past 44. So I guess we'll hold on to that. There's another afflicted over here. So let's go one dose, Serum 208. Oh, they, come on, just give me maple logs. Something for your trouble, swamp paste. No. Now we want maple logs. 
Afflicted. Give me maple logs. Ooh, a key. Yeah, we will take the key. Oh, I just attacked that afflicted. Uh. Right. Here we go. We've got two doses left. Can we get lucky? Come on, afflicted. Something for your trouble. Coins. No, not good enough. Uh, it's an afflicted around here. Here we go. Give us maple logs. Coins. Damn. All right. So we've still got one serum 207. So we'll go back to the temple and we'll repair that a little bit. Something for your trouble. Another strange key. Cool, but not exactly what we're after. Oak logs. Ah, uh, that's... Yeah. You know what's great as well? Super underrated. I'm in Lumbridge, and I can I have no guilt whatsoever about just lighting these logs at the top of the castle. <laughs> I've been wanting to do this for ages. Yeah, we do, and we obviously have combat XP to work with, but again, I've got sort of bigger fish to fry, because, yeah, we can get maple logs with woodcutting once we get the rune axe, and I need my combat XP for, you know, God knows what coming up, so I... Wasting it on killing shades, it does seem like a little bit of a waste. Especially when, yeah, if we just get the rune axe and keep going down this path, like, we will eventually solve our woodcutting issues ourselves and get maple logs by actually cutting them. Especially as well that this is a 1 in 128 drop, not a guarantee at all, by any means. No, I think our crafting XP is going to run out, yeah. Okay, we're not going to have enough crafting XP to... Be able to do that again. But let's use our Serum 208 on the Afflicted here. Just get some Maple Logs. A Bronze Key. No, Afflicted. What if I use... Okay, here we go. I'm going to save you. There we go. Something for your trouble. More Limestone Bricks. That sucks. Um, this one up here. Come on, Maple Logs. Five limestone bricks. Damn. That's not what we want. Give us something good. Oh, five taramin. Hey, we'll take that. Um, I guess we'll just ditch some of these vials. We can always get more logs and just pick them up. So, five grimy taramin. Hey, that's pretty good. All right, let's get out of here. No more for us. Damn. All right. No way. We couldn't get the... Unfortunately, we couldn't get the maple logs that way, but it's all good. We trained our crafting a bit. We got some cool supplies for the future. Nice one. We'll be able to go back and do that at a future time. And we got some keys to unlock at some point as well. Oh my god. Okay. We've been busy. We've been a little busy. You saw that I got 60 smithing at Giant's Foundry. I just needed a little bit of cash. Uh, we have cash now, so yeah. I, I wanted to... Make better use of the steel plate bodies I made with smithing. So I bought some iron ones and was doing some iron steel alloys. Only did a few of them. I can do more later. But yeah, I was sick of just selling the steel plate bodies to the shop. Because this is a much better use of my plate bodies. So, uh, I said we've been busy. Chocolate dust and Harrowlander potions. We are going to do some herb lore. Let's make some energy potions, baby. There's the first of our levels, 29 herb lore. We can now make energy mix. Luckily, we have some roe left over from our barbarian fishing adventures. Let's decant some of that. Two dose energy potion. Row in there. Oh, we need to use caviar, not row. Oh, no. Wait, can we get caviar from our leaping trout? Or does that mean we need to... Go get Leaping Salmon or Leaping Sturgeon. No way. Surely we can get it just from Leaping Trout. Okay, so further reading. I was misreading that you can use um, Roe and Caviar for bait to catch these things. You can only obtain Roe from the Leaping Trout, not uh, Caviar. You can only get Caviar from Leaping Sturgeon, which requires a whopping 70 fishing, as well as 45 agility and 45 strength. So, we're going to have to go another route to get the caviar, because that's a massive, massive... Like, why do you require caviar there at 70 to make a potion at 29? Jesus. That's alright, there is another way for us to get caviar, and we're going back underwater. 
All right, back to Fossil Island. We're going underwater, baby. We're going to go find some ourselves, some lobstrosities. Oh, shit. I know you can use, like, underwater weapons, like brine sabers, powered staffs, and things like this. It said on the wiki you can also use magic secateurs, <laughs> which, obviously, you have to wield, so we might be able to wield an air battle staff if we're just casting magic. Um, anyway, so I think if we try and enter this area... She's going to be like, get that helmet off. You can successfully found an open clean. The mermaids will reward you from now on. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, right. Um, anyway, what I want to find is the bit that sort of teleports us over to the lobstrosities. I think it's here somewhere, isn't there? Ideally, a safe spot that's close to, like, one of these things would be great. Okay, because they're pretty big, these things. So if I cast Firebolt on this one, I can still get me there. What about here? Okay, now if I... Yeah, there we go. I can manually cast Firebolt. We just... Once we level up, though, we're done for magic. So we're going to have to be pretty, <laughs> pretty close to this. Hopefully we just get Caviar quickly and can get out because these things drop caviar otherwise i'm gonna have to i don't know train a lot of fishing or find another way to do it just gotta watch our oxygen level as well so we don't drown while we're doing this okay another kill down come on caviar puffer fish numulite raw lobster all right come on caviar please giant seaweed damn it not what we want as well please caviar pretty please Ooh, a small fossil, but not what we want. Come on, kill it. Alright, come on, show me caviar, please. More toad's legs, no. That's not what we want. Alright, so, um, currently we have finished our level 39 magic unlock, which is Crumble Undead. Our level 40 magic unlock will be teleport to house, but it's the... Armor and the weapons, which is going to stop us in our tracks at level 40 magic. So, I reckon one more kill will get us over the line. And then we're going to have to stop using magic for a bit. And there is 40 magic. Yep, there's all of our unlocks. Mystic, Enchanted, Elder Chaos, Druid Robes, and Skeletal Armor. Wow, as well as Teleport to House. So, we can do our spell unlock, but our armor unlocks, yeah, they are going to take a bit of work. And some of them require clues so we won't be needing those but we also need 40 defense for some of them so we'll be getting 40 defense okay let's let's finish off this one this will be our last kill i really hope we get the caviar or i'm gonna have to do some theory crafting about how we're gonna get that shy of just getting 70 fishing okay come on last lobstrosity kill please show me caviar come on a puffer fish well yep <laughs> Damn it. Um, yeah, let's see. Uh, see. Let's see if this chest, now that this chest is growing, let's see if we can at least get a mermaid tier for our troubles. I'm not sure if it, like. We need another inventory space. Oh, we do actually. We can actually get mermaids tiers and glistening tiers. Ah, right. We can't even bank this glistening tier. I'm going to have to trade that in for some agility XP. Um, okay, but yeah, wow, the twists and turns in this episode have been absolutely massive. <laughs> so, we started by hunting for the elusive battle staff, which we now have, which is fantastic. We have that. We used that to try and get the rune axe from Lava Dragons. It couldn't be done. We tried also at Barbarian Assault. Couldn't be done. I've reached out to the members. I'm going to reach out to the wider community at some point too if I don't get it all. We're going to try and do some Barbarian Assault together and I'll, I will come back to that. But just in the meantime, while I'm setting that up and in between times I can commit to do Barbarian Assault, we are also working on our uh, grind to be able to get Fairy Rings unlocked. So that means finishing Fairy Tale Part 1 meaning we need to first to be able to do our gout weed we need to complete edgar's ruse because it gives a shitload of herb lore xp so we need to get 40 herb lore clean and irrit leaf then do edgar's ruse in our quest to get 40 herb lore barbarian potion energy mix requires caviar and not roe 
caviar can only be obtained through the barbarian fishing by the leaping sturgeons, which need 45 agility, 40 strength, and 70 fishing. Caviar is dropped by the lobstrosities, hence why we're killing them, but now we can't train magic anymore, and I also need to leave enough wiggle room with magic XP within level 40 before we hit 41 to get the reward XP from Fairy Tale Part 1. Right, so yeah, basically no more magic from now on, which kind of sucks, but that's alright. Um, to kill the lobstrosities with melee, we can start Fairy Tale Part 1 and actually get the magic secateurs, so... Even though we can't finish it, I think I'm going to start the quest. Whoo, damn. Deary me. A lot going on. Um, we also, by getting the 29 Herb Lore, progressed by doing a lot of Mauritania-related quests. And there's more to come of those in the future. I will be away for the first two weeks of April on holidays overseas. So not a lot of RuneScape at all will be played, especially on Skill Guided. So... I've got a lot of plans for the next couple of weeks. Hopefully we can finish off March with the Rune Axe. I hope so. But yeah, for now, hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you've made it this far into it, you are a bloody legend. I really appreciate everyone who watches like long into the videos. It's really appreciated. Um... Right now, I'm just going to dive and go hand in this for some agility XP while I talk. Yeah, very much appreciate the support on the series. Let's keep it going. I'm closing in on 5k subs. So, tell all your friends in game. Tell everyone. Spread the word. Give the video a like. That really helps it out the most. Um, and yeah, do really appreciate all the support. Keen to get to 5k subs, but also just... Oh, I'm loving playing this account. It's so good. It's so good. Let's get it. 20, 27 and a half agility XP. That was terrible. But okay then. Whatever. Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying playing this account. I'm loving making content at the moment. I'm loving playing RuneScape at the moment. Lots to come on Skill Guide in the future. The series will not stop. We're going to keep going with progress forever, baby. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> 